guys. Figured I was going to do an update on the bike. Uh, when I was on the subject of uh, replacing parts. Uh, the other day I went for a ride and I felt like my crank was loose. And it looks like these pedals are finally breaking down after about over a year, a year and a half. I've never had to open them. The bearing on this side is actually still good. It's the sleeve bearing that's the issue. And the problem is the way it's designed, it's not tapered. So if it goes tighter, it'll make up, uh, it'll take up any um, gap that it uh, produces over time as it wears. And uh, you get this. It's basically, you're rocking back and forth, which is kind of irritating when you're pedaling because you can actually feel it. It kind of feels like the bearings on the on the your crank axle are going. So there's not really that much I can really do. I mean, I oiled them well. They're still oiled. With the original oil, that hasn't hardened or anything. Uh, the Loctite was still really tight on the on the bolt. So. Uh, you get about a year and a half of just street riding with these. Um, probably less than a year if you put them on a uh, mountain bike, which kind of sucks. But uh, I'm just going to repack them and leave them for now. And uh, we'll be doing a review on these, or a new pair anyway, which kind of sucks. And they're both pretty much the same. This one's doing the same thing. It's got play just on this side. This side's fine, which is irritating. Other than that, they're smooth. They never gave me any issues. I expect them to last a little bit longer. I knew the sleep bearing was going to be an issue. Uh, I'm, the, I'm I'm a bearing guy from the 80s, so <laughs> I, I've never seen sleeve, and uh, I don't believe in it. But uh, anyway, let's repack it. Just going to do what we did last year, just basically clean it, repack it. Like there's. Yeah, there's a little bit of wear on the on the sleeve bearing, but not not enough that uh, would give it that much play. So, imagine if this was off road and this seal didn't stop enough dirt. What uh, issues you would have with it? So yeah, I really can't recommend them for off road. They can't even survive on road. Sweet. I can start shopping around for new ones. I wasn't a big fan of them. I mean, they're all right. I thought they'd be fine for the road. Obviously, they're not. Same thing, though. When you go to put them on, you got to use a little bit of Loctite. Let's try the red. There's a little bit of that left. Yeah, so ordered the lights. Um, they're supposed to be pretty trippy, actually, because they got a built-in fan. And I'm curious to see how they can keep that fan from getting wet. Which is, I'm gonna pull it apart and obviously do a full investigation on it. And uh, I'll do a full review in the driveway. Uh, see what the beam is like. It's gotta be anything better than the one I got. 
Um, the one I got was all right, but I'm starting to notice that uh, it's not, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's not as bright, but it's just not what I expected. Actually, you know what? Once you repack it and tighten that bolt, you know, it might be just... It's not bad now. No, no, there's, there's the play. It's still there. You can rock it back and forth. I'm going to feel that when I pedal. So, yeah, that's, that's an issue. And it's raining. Anyway, a few people have asked about these pedals, and now you know. Strictly riding on the on the road, not getting them wet, you get about a year and a half out of them, which kind of sucks. Yeah, oh well. Anyway, I figured... Figured I'd give you an update on those things. When stuff comes in, I'll uh, do a review on the uh, the lights and get rid of this one. Later, guys.